In Scotland, we've got a unique opportunity to deliver a world-class digital planning system and for that to be achievable. We've got this real sense of community and that ability to want to do things well together is absolutely there. This strategy starts a process that I feel is going to bring significant national level benefits to Scotland. Making sure you put the right developments in the right place with the right infrastructure. Those processes traditionally have been ones that have taken many years to get right. Using data effectively, and by effectively I mean using it to, to ensure that you're doing evidence-based decisions and, and that whether you're the local authority, a particular community that has a concern, a commercial business that wants to make investment decisions. If all of those parties know they're dealing with the same information, so that data that lies at the heart of it, and there's less ambiguity, then making those decisions is going to be easier. Communities are going to feel more empowered. That ability to understand information, for it to feel more transparent, more accessible, and for it to be able to be linked to solutions that are meaningful to people's lives. If we can make that process more effective, more efficient and more transparent, then that's going to be a benefit for everyone, not just the benefits they experience personally. One of the things that I really like about the digital planning strategy is this idea that it's mission driven, unlocking the value of planning data, making better use of digital technology, making it more accessible for people and, and embedding innovation. And as I see it, innovation is taking something that exists and applying it in a way that no one imagined. So one of the key challenges that you have with these strategies is how do you maintain a perspective that you always want to be better, that you always want to improve. So for me, there's a bit about if you're going to innovate, you're going to make mistakes. You need to create that space, whether physical or virtual, that can be explored and people can make mistakes, but in a way that's safe, which I think is what the planning service have done over the last two years, developing this strategy. They've brought people into a place and gone, okay, how do we change the system? And they've been open to that. So that, for me, that's the, the key thing. Innovation is not a destination. Innovation is a journey that every single day you're having to open yourself up to the fact that a user may have spotted something that, about your service that you love that doesn't work. And you've got to be prepared to give up that and help improve it. And I think one of the things that I see that's key from the strategy is that shift to it being about milestones, it being about particular products, it, to it being about this ongoing journey now of how from a user perspective, are we getting it right? Does the system work? The system as in the technology that is, that's going to be deployed and used, there's the system in terms of, are we asking the right questions? Are we capturing information in the right way? Are we presenting it in ways that are useful to people? And then there's ultimately the planning system as a whole. Are we getting the best decisions for Scotland? Is development happening in a way that is contributing to what Scotland wants to be as a nation going forward? And I think that's really important because it's it's a different way of understanding how to deliver your service. Having a digital forward-looking planning system is going to be critical to how we deliver Scotland's response to the climate emergency. And what a better year than this one when COP26 is coming to Glasgow, how we improve our planning system and how we make the most of the information that is at our fingertips, but perhaps not always used in ways that we would want to because there have been barriers, aligns absolutely with what we see COP26 trying to do, which is to remove barriers, to remove the older ways of thinking about certain things and bring in a new way of working. So for me, the ambition is, how do we drive all of this forward together and deliver that greener, better, healthier Scotland?